in hope, harvesting on the innocence, trembling in the search for the voices, the stories of the departed, for in the shadows hides the evil. again that damn cat's been on my desk i think that should do it how are you guys doing tonight uh yeah switch up the hat i know it's not halloween but yeah i got the uh freddy krueger scally cap on uh whatever though right uh doing good uh today's today at work was dead which I hate. I literally hate it being slow. Uh, did some painting on some gear that needed to be repaired. That's about it. But yeah, here we are on time for a show. We are back to... Get that tapped over just a hair. There. Uh, we're back to explicit record, explicit one recorder. Uh, part two of night one, uh, in unit five, cell C27. So, yeah, we're 20 or 16 minutes in with nothing. Uh, let's get back to it, uh, see if we can knock out a couple sections. The quiet parts, we're just going to jump through like always and see what happens. Yeah, this is the one I had the gain turned up way too high.
Thank God. It is going to be slow for a couple weeks, I think. A uh, couple little shows going out. Nothing uh, over the top. Yep, the sound of my drink going. Definitely need it. Still got to crack that, uh... Still got to crack that bottle of Jack. Waiting for, uh... Actually, waiting for the right time to crack that. Did get some uh, one of these nights, right? It'll be a Friday night show for sure. The bottle's not going anywhere. Did get some more things in the mail today, uh, as I talked about last night. So on night one of the GoPro, uh, GoPro 2, we only got four EVPs. We did cross the 100 EVP threshold, currently sitting at 103. Uh, which is all right. I'm okay with this. Uh, so next would be 104. So we're, while we're uh, doing this, let me pause this for a second. Get back over to full screen cam. Uh, as I said last night, uh, was waiting for some more pictures to get in. They did come a day early. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys real quick. Got five, the last five I've ordered from, uh, from eBay. Inmates from Nevada State Prison. Try to get that lined up best I can for you guys. Why they allow them to have hats and mug shots, I will never know. This guy looks like a would have been a greaser in the 50s. Uh, definitely an Italian. Uh, Tony Calino. Uh, and for burglary, 1 to 15, uh, first offense, 1 to 15 years. I guess they did things different back in the 30s. So yeah, another one. Uh, Zelbo Sisteros. Uh, 58 years old. In for Grand Larceny. And the one I've been waiting. Hey, Jed Clampett. We always talk about the women of Nevada State Prison. Now, I'm going to ask you, uh, hold on. Let me see if it's in here. Okay. Looking at this picture, how old do you think this lady is? I'm going to wait for an answer on this one from you, from you, Moose. So, mid-40s. 
not even close. Louise Bears, female, one to ten years for man's involuntary manslaughter, aged twenty nine. Twenty nine years old. All right. Twenty nine freaking years old. Does not look like it, does it? <laughs> I knew that one would throw you for a loop. What I'm going to do on, well, not tonight, uh, during the week, I'll get every one of them. And I'll go through their ages and their crimes. Just so everybody can get an idea of, you know, this is the 30s, Nevada State Prison. Like I said, I'm going to be donating them to the prison. Uh, and then that's where they belong. That's, that's just where they belong, guys. Uh, Yeah, I wouldn't mind having them up on the studio wall. I, I, I'd rather people get get to see them. Uh, rather than forcing people to tune into the show for me to break them out every once in a while, to have them back on prison grounds. Uh, maybe the docents can do some research, find out what cell they were in, and if that cell is still around adhere it to the wall in the cell so people can see you know who stayed in that cell I'd like to get a hold of that guy on eBay as if he just sell me all 100 of them and be done with it uh, But regardless, they, they, they belong there. They don't belong with me. And like I said, I this is, I can make more money. I can always find shit somewhere. I have ways. But when you care about a location, you want to see history preserved. This is what being a paranormal investigator is all about. Not a ghost hunter, a paranormal investigator. Ghost hunter, they want the history for themselves. Paranormal investigators want to share the history with the world. This this is history. These are five different lives affected by the prison. Five lives affected by Nevada State Prison. Yeah, we're, we're back to analyzing residual sounds.
Ooh, a prop plane. Yay. The plane, the plane. And that's a little loud. That might be a semi. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, it's we know these residual sounds. We can identify them. There's a semi. That's definitely me. Okay. But that's all there is. There's nothing after that. Holy shit. I don't know, but at the end, there, look at the end. Right there. Welcome back. Fucking welcome back. And here's me talking and says welcome back. Holy shit. They happy to see me, right? Like I said, even Susan has said, they ask for me when I'm not there. That is cool as shit. Welcome back. Okay, welcome back. There is one voice after me for sure. Um, maybe. Yeah, I know. There is. I, I can't make out what it's saying. Only thing I can truly make out is the welcome back. And that's all. actually all that matters to me is getting that welcome back. Oh, that is good. That is real good.
All right, guys, I almost screwed that one up on the save. Sorry. Uh, yeah, let's listen to that a couple more times and we'll move on. Freaking semi. You see how those EVPs that can just pop out at you. So we're on two EVPs now for this recorder. Not doing too good. We're at 104. I don't think that's me. Uh, I don't know if that's me. Uh, sounds a little too deep to be me. Uh, uh, let's find out. Vocal enhancer. Okay. Okay. Forty nine thirty two, yeah. So right here. Uh, not not paranormal. <laughs> Something walking through here. Something walking through here. It's definitely, well, blank, 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 walking through here. Uh, I can hear that much. Beyond that, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, effects. Go back in, throw some vocals in here. And see if that's going to help us any. Okay. That might be me. That might be me. Uh... Huh. 
not a hundred percent. That might, that definitely might be me. I think that's me. I'm hearing two. At the very end, there's one. Then me, me or whatever it is with a statement. There's definitely two. Um, try a couple more things and we're going to debunk it. Uh, I, I'm about 70% that it could possibly just be me. Uh, again, I don't want to count it if I'm not a hundred percent. It's it's gotta be it's gotta be me. Uh, bunk it. Gotta be a semi again. Motorcycle. Motorcycle and it's a loud one.
Should ask if the spirits of the traffic sound bothers them. Yeah, especially the older prisoners. But the thing is, you really don't hear a lot investigating in the prison. You don't hear it as much. But yeah, I might ask him that. I love having in-ears. These inner monitors, you could hear almost everything. <laughs> That's it. That's either metal pinging or a GoPro battery. But a GoPro doesn't ping once. Sounds like steel on pavement. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, it did, but that doesn't make any sense where we had the GoPro. We had GoPros. Hold on. Uh, in women's. Execution viewing. Hold on. Women's execution viewing. And execution bulkhead. I don't know. That would mean where do we have the recorder at? Because 
There is no Unit 5. Uh, I don't know. I think I screwed up on this one somehow. Or somewhere. That's definitely a cell door shut or a uh, security door shutting. Which means with that sound, it's either very residual or somebody's in the area. I mean, we'll find out maybe. Instead of unit five, this could be unit six, and I just screwed up on it. Which is what I'm thinking happened. Okay, team talking. Probably myself, Deads, and his girlfriend, Van. Uh, matter of fact, I can guarantee it. We do, can debunk that one very easy. Here comes the siren. We will, we will, we will, right? And the funny thing is, my mentor in the paranormal taught me about actually doing what we're doing, not to do it. Static recorders. Turn them on, let them go. And his question to me was, Brent, you do realize the more audio you have, the more you have to analyze? Do you really want to sit down 
for hundreds of hours listening to audio. I guess that lesson went straight out the frickin' window, didn't it? And I followed it for a few years. I ain't gonna lie. Like the recorders that I carry, I go into a location, ask the questions, turn it off. Go to the next area, turn it back on, start again. Leave, turn it off. But I just started thinking, what if I'm missing shit? When I'm leaving, what if they're trying to get my attention? What can you do? I mean, he's totally not wrong. How much dead air you have to walk to listen to. But again, my defense, what are we missing? Nowadays, yes, what are we missing? Back then, yeah, you're right. I'll, I'll follow along. But a location like the prison, it's too damn big. You can't do an hour in each building, each cell, each room. I guess his expert tutelage didn't stick too much when it comes to this, did it? Fucking damn residual cell doors. you do your yeah uh, the director of that group I won't mention his name uh, we ended up kicking him out of his own group of his own team we all got together we voted he showed up at the team meeting and we said you're not welcome here anymore you have to go <laughs> it hurt to do that it really hurt knowing you had to basically fire your teacher uh, but it was for good reason he was embezzling funds out of the team account uh, he was going through some financial troubles and they just started borrowing from it we were wanting to go on a paranormal trip uh, it's like we need to see the funds well I don't have the records Okay, bring them next week. Next week, uh, I don't have the records on me. We told you to bring them. Next week, same thing. Hey, we forgot, we forgot, we're sorry. It's like, next week, bring them. We gave them like five or six chances to get the records. Finally, it's like, something. somebody found out somehow the funds disappeared. And we're like, hey, where's the money? Well, we're on hard times. This is our money that you're using for personal use. If you were to ask us, okay, but you just took it without team permission. You're off the team. Well, it's my team, not anymore. You can either walk away now with what pride you have left, or we're going to pursue this legally. And he left. I mean, he, he knew at that point it was either walk away or go to jail. He chose freedom. Can't say that I blame him, but it hurt. It really, really hurt.
And I love the guy to death. He treated me like a member of his own family. He pulled me to the side. He taught me shit. He wasn't teaching other people. I still got books he gave me. And I still use a lot of what he taught me to this day. And it's... The team really could have done something if he had flown straight. We had a lot of shit on the table. Because he's a, he is actually the one that worked with Zach Bagans on an episode. All residual bullshit. What do you know? motorcycle team And notice we haven't gotten that beep again. Uh, could that have been a GoPro dying? Absolutely. But it didn't give the three beeps. Hmm. Don't start yawning, Brent. Holy crap. It's too early for that shit. It's what, 720? We'll definitely get into section three tonight, which is good.
And that is pretty much it for section two. Uh, one EVP. One stinking EVP. Uh, let's get over to section three. I oh, always hate the load time. And see where we kind of end up in the next 15 minutes. Definitely maybe some potential. Because the, uh, Section 3 is the end of Night 1 on Explicit 1. Uh, it is an hour and 17 minutes. So definitely be able to get through that tomorrow by tomorrow night. Start into explicit one night two on Thursday, Friday, maybe. So it's going to be a while before we do a video again. Uh, we're definitely getting through two or three recorders before we start back to video. I don't want to blow through all the video and be stuck with nothing but audio to end, to, uh, to end it. Because that does get repetitive. It's what I did the first year. And it got tough. We might even be able to skip through it tonight. There's literally... Almost nothing. And show me the goddamn ghost. MDS, you're not far off. We've had two EVPs in the past two nights. How you been, bud? It's been a hot minute. Cheers to you. It's been a month or two since you've been in here. But then again, my shows have been kind of limited because of work. <laughs> Ugh. Almost feels like I'm towing again at some points. Yeah, we just got through uh, Night Before Last with... Uh, one of the GoPros. We're finishing the audio on the GoPros. Only got what five, four or five EVPs out of uh, out of one night off the GoPro. Not terrible. We've done worse. Yeah, MDS. You know you've been here through through the through the crap and there's really no other way to put it through the silence you and deads and a couple other people are the OGs ban them ban them ban them sorry astute you have been banned from the channel you are a douchebag I have taken it upon my authority to revoke your access privileges to the mainframe system. Access denied. 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 This universe is mine. I am God here. Magic fingers. I 
I had to take off the my original uh, band song. Got me almost got me a strike. Uh, after my show ended, I had to clip it out. Ghosts don't like magic. It's in the Bible. Shine that bam hammer. <laughs> Whammo. Yeah, okay. Maybe I don't have magic fingers. I don't even have the magic click. But I do have the wrath of God. I'm not a God. I'm not even the God. I'm just a God in my own mind. This is my universe. No one can find that magic click. Otherwise, women would be easy. Oh, come on, MDS. You can't double click or mouse. double clicking because no means no you're right no means no but if you can hit that two two finger cul-de-sac you'll have her going off like the fountains of Bellagio It doesn't go off every hour. You're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Is it still considered magic fingers if you can disappear up your elbow? I don't know. At that point, if you can get elbow deep, you're going to be treating her like a puppet like Jeff Dunham. And she's going to be screaming like Peanut. She'll be jal Jose Jalapeno on a stick. And I can't believe I just said that. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> You're with a cow. I went home once with a big girl a bunch of times. Wait, I went home with a big girl once a bunch of times. There, I got it right. Put a strap of 2 by 4 to your butt at that point. Motorcycles are getting rampant now. Bring the timber and lumber. A woman moose might just ruin the whole evening. If she breaks out the bullwinkle, bullwinkle antlers, that could be a party. But she straps those antlers around her head, you just grab onto them and just fold them back. Then you whisper in her ear that her sister's tighter and hold on for dear life. And yeehaw.
where are we at? Uh, where we're at on recorders, actually. Uh, One, two, three. Uh, 12 recorders, three GoPros. Yeah, we, we still got a ways to go, guys. We still got a long way to go. Because remember, my first year, I only had 14 recorders. And still got 436 EVPs. So technically, we're only two recorders in if you want to go this route. This is why I'm optimistic we could still hit 400. I'm optimistic that we could still hit three, figuratively, right now. But we're sitting at 104. But when I started, the recorders that I had held less audio than this. You're right on time for your appointment. <laughs> MDS with the resub, 18 months. You know what that means. Uh, since they are back, uh, yeah, the wheel is back. So let's get your two spins in for your sub. Okay, we got Sriracha. Let me get this shit opened. We got Sriracha. <laughs> and Jalapeno. Sriracha and Jalapeno. So, there we go. We got him back up. <laughs> Appreciate it, MDS. As always, bud. This batch is spicy. Holy shit. Wow. Whoa. They're usually not that spicy. But those, those are. I remember here about a year and a half, two years ago. MDS had me do pretty much the whole box. I ended up doing like 50 fucking beans. I was hurting the next morning. I think I don't think it's the spice, but the sugar in it. It was like, oh my lord. But always appreciated MDS. You've been you've been here since the beginning, bud, and it's more than appreciated. You deads, bug, corgi. Speaking of deads. We haven't seen Duds in a hot minute. We haven't seen Corgi in a hot minute. Hell, we haven't seen Sims in a hot minute. I 
I know Sims had some personal shit going on. Duds may as well be married at this point. Uh, and good for him on that. He deserves it. Van is a good girl. That's a good woman right there. Only downside is she beats him. Well... I don't know if that's a downside. Depends on your personality. Hit me again. I can put some stank on it. Uh, only reversed. Hit me again, Tina. Corgi's wrapped around a dog leash outside. Dad's in a short leash. And Sims is probably just wandering the alleys. Sims is probably working a lot. I know she's had some, per like I said, some personal issues. So, like I said... When everybody comes back, hell, we haven't seen explicit in a hot minute. She used to be here every night without delay, but I know she's been working too. If we had all the normals here, we'd have 20 people in here. Every show. It's all good. But Corgi, yeah, he's probably on a leash somewhere. Interesting how the show is about finding ghosts, but everyone who found you is now ghosting you. Yeah. Pretty much. But everybody has a life. I get it. Everybody has a life. Can't expect them to drop it for this show. You don't come back for three months. You come back. We're doing the same freaking thing. We're just a couple recorders down the road. It doesn't change. And if we finish... Nevada State Prison before we go back for visit five remember we still have all that Goldfield audio to analyze where everybody was bumbling around in the dark and it was so noisy we still got Goldfield it's not lack of content At least it's almost the weekend. So, M MDS, what have you been up to, bud? You, like I said, you haven't been in a while. What's new with you? Anything exciting at all? Or are you just like everybody else, working?
And the funny thing is, my first investigation of the prison, I think we counted a lot of those doors slamming. Well, we put them into the evidence, but we did not count them. Uh, they didn't go as an EVP count, but they went in as evidence. Uh, come to find out, like, afterwards, knowing it's just residual. Uh, If I remember right, I'm I don't have a Twitch up. I think we're 25 shows away from 600. I never thought I'd reach 600 shows. But yet here we are. Just wait till we hit 666 on the shows. It's actually not that far away. What do we got here? That's Susan. Yeah, that's Susan. <laughs> Debunk. Again, not one of our best nights. At least we got one. We can celebrate over one EVP. Still wish we had about 40 more than we do. But again, like I've said the past few shows, once we get to the recorders that Deads and I were carrying, we're going to have a lot of evidence. That's going to be our bread and butter. I can, I can practically guarantee it. And hopefully I don't look like a fool for saying that. Uh, again, static recorders. Not guaranteed. Again, this is why I'm not buying more equipment.
definitely a cell door opening. I think that might be us coming in from the other side to collect the equipment. As a matter of fact, I can almost assure it. Uh, You fucking sneaky bastard! Pause. Ten subs? Oh my god. MDS. Thank you for ten. Okay. Oh, holy shit, man. Right at the end of the show, too. You're gonna send me the freaking bed with heartburn. Let's... Get the freaking 20 spins. 20 spins. Ooh. Hype train. Hype train alert. Woo woo. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to do a, uh, I'm not going to do a train sound. I don't even think I have a train sound, and I don't. That's about as close as it's ever going to get. Oh, my God. Let's get the wheel up. Uh. I need to find something to put these in. Give me a second. Put them in a pill, pill bottle cap. All right. Uh, yeah, let's get on over to this. Okay, Reaper, where are you at? There's Reaper. Sriracha is right there. <laughs> Cayenne's right there. Twenty fucking spins. <laughs> fucking Reaper again. The wheel doesn't like me. I'm getting Reapers. No Reapers. No freaking Reapers. No reapers. <laughs> of course, habanero. I say no reaper, it gives me habanero. <laughs> okay, sriracha is right there. <laughs> sriracha, okay. Let's... Habanero. <laughs> jalapeno. Probably my least favorite is a jalapeno. Back to back jalapeno. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nine more. Jalapeno. Reaper, where you at? There's a Reaper. This is gonna suck. Just so you guys know. I'm gonna run out of Reapers. There's another one. Okay, Cayenne. Don't eat all at once, save for the weekend. You sure about that? You want me to save them for the weekend? I can do them now or the weekend. 
We can close out the show with a bang, or I can do them now. Your decision. <laughs> Another fucking Reaper. Holy shit. Let's see how many this is. I think that's 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hold on. That's 17. <laughs> Three more now. Three more now. <laughs> Sriracha. Two more. <laughs> Sriracha. And of course, you're going to end up on Reaper. So, it's your call, MDS. I can do the cat full now or this weekend. It's your call. I got 20 sitting here. Either way. <laughs> I could save it for the weekend. Save it for Friday night or now. Do 10. Okay. One, two, three. Do 10. Okay. There's 10. You guys see him in the palm of my hand. What's up, Tundra? Holy shit. That's a fucking spicy meatball. What's up, Tundra? Thank MDS for torturing me again. Thank you, bud. <laughs> Always a pleasure, sir. Thank you. Oh, my Lord. Let's uh, get the rest of this recorder out of the way. And that's a show. I need to let my freaking fire cool down. Wow. Funny, yeah. We've got five hours, 25 minutes, one bar. All right. Uh, yeah. We made it through the show tonight. Uh, hour and a half, one EVP, and uh, 12 jelly beans, courtesy of MDS. The other 10 are being saved for Friday night at the beginning of the show. We're not going to do them at the end like some punk bitch. I'm going to do them at the beginning so I could suffer through the show. Excuse me. Sorry about that. No, I'm not actually. But uh, I'll do the other 10 for MDS beginning of the show Friday. 
Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night. Excuse me. As we start into section two of uh, explicit one recorder uh, in Nevada State Prison. Not sure where it is. But uh, yeah, we will uh, we'll get to it tomorrow night. My mouth is burning. My eyes are watering. Never had this reaction to those jelly beans before. But anyways, MDS, thank you so much again. It's always appreciated. Your generosity to this channel is unparalleled. You've donated recorders. You've donated subs. You've kept it. You've helped keep this community together. And I'm forever grateful for it. Guys, have a great night. Uh, MDS, Tundra, and anybody else lurking in the shadows, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Had a blast tonight. We'll continue it tomorrow night. Have a great night. God bless, and I'll see you all later. Thanks again.